to master the trick. Okay, so when hitting a vacuum, the first part, most important thing you gotta do is let out all your air. Because if there's air in your stomach, in your diaphragm, it's not gonna give you the ability to suck in and pull up. So what I do is I let out all my air, I flex my abs, and what I'm thinking of is trying to inhale without letting any air. So you kind of block your throat and inhale, and you think about pulling your belly button to your stomach. So you exhale. And you pull in like that. So I'm literally just letting out all my air, and I'm thinking about if I'm trying to like, but I'm blocking that airway, so instead of actually bringing the air in, instead it's pulling the muscle up. And most people aren't able to do this on the first try. A lot of people can do it as children. Sometimes you see kids running around, pulling in their stomach like that, laughing, like they look like a freaky alien. I know I did that as a kid. So obviously I just naturally have a little bit of a better mind-muscle connection to it, but this is something that everybody can do with enough practice, and it's really not impossible. So a good trick when you're learning how to do it and it's kind of more difficult for you to pull it in is finding something like a counter or a box on the ground on your hands and knees and if you actually kind of grab something and pull, it will give you a little bit more leverage. So it'll be the same concept here, but you're almost using your arms and your lats to pull in to make it a little bit easier. So you put your arms forward, again you let all your air out, and then you suck it in. Now once you actually have like the basic skill of being able to hit the vacuum, if you want to excel and get a lot better in it, really all comes down to practice. The more you do it, the stronger your, tra your transverse abdominus will be, the longer you'll be able to hold it, everything like that. And while this of course build is building the strength of your transverse abdominus, when you're thinking of like one of the functions of it, of course is to keep your pelvic super tight, keep your spine tight, keep kind of like the base support of everything super supported. One of the best ways to train it in that sense is holding planks or doing those rollouts. You see people also roll and they come down, big stretch like that, pull it in. That's also training your transverse abdominus and making your core super stable. But in talking about trying to get more advanced with the vacuum, you want to try and just Either I start off just by holding as long as possible and letting it out, holding as long as possible, letting out. Personally, I try and train as if I'm on stage, so it's a lot easier, again, with your hands on the counter or something, or your hands down by your side. But once you're actually hitting a pose and everything else on your body is flexed, your arms are above your head, anything like that, it makes it much harder to hit and hold the vacuum. So, of course, practice like a play. I practice like I would be hitting it on stage, especially in uh, ab and thigh pose. So personally, I like to go as if I'm going into the pose. I hit a vacuum and I don't let my stomach loose at all. When I let out the vacuum, I breathe in a little bit, I keep my abs super tight, hold it for about two or three seconds, and then I pull it back up for as long as I can. It's not only is training your transverse abdominis, but it's getting you ready on stage to never let your stomach kind of go out or in. You see a lot of people with breathing issues and stomachs hanging out either on stage posing for longer, and this is all literally just abdominal control because they don't train it. So if you're hit a pose, vacuum, and then in between, you're standing around like this because you're tired and you're like, you can't hold it in anymore, the judges are really gonna knock you down for that, so practice as if you weren't doing that. So again, I'll put my hands over my head, go to hit ab and thigh pose, and then back and forth. Not easy, definitely not a lot of fun to do, and you will get sore the first time practicing it for a while. Sometimes your muscles do get sore just under your ribs, and they can get tight. Sometimes you need to work them out, but I definitely highly recommend everybody, even if you're trying to look good in a bikini, just check the hour bikini, board shorts, whatever, on the beach with your shirt off. Be able to keep your stomach in, pulled in, and flat instead of hanging out. Definitely lots of benefits to training your